Hey guys, welcome back to Cameron TV. I hope you're all having a fab day. July is finally upon us, and that means there are a load of new bugs for us to catch. I have really enjoyed making this, and I know for a fact that you're all going to love catching all these bugs. I really hope this helps some of you, and if it does, please do consider liking and subscribing. And without any further ado, let's get into all the new bugs that we need to catch in the month of July. We are starting off with the coconut bugs. That's right, July is the month where all of these amazing coconut bugs come back into New Horizons and I am so, so excited. We're starting off with the Blue Weevil Beetle. This little beetle can be caught between the months of July and August and it can be found all day. These bugs are apparently common, but I don't think they are. I think they're really rare actually. These bugs do spawn in the rain and they obviously only spawn on coconut trees. They sell for 800 bells, so not the greatest considering some of the bugs are uh, coming up in this list. The Blue Weevil Beetle is so cool. Like, it just reminds me of the game Bin Weevils if you used to play that when you were younger. Well, I know I did. But yeah, that's it for the first bug. So hopefully you've caught the Blue Weevil Beetle. The next bug that we need to catch is my favourite bug from any of the Animal Crossing franchise. I love catching this bug, and this bug is the Cyclometer Stag, or the Cyclometer Stag, however on earth you say it. This beetle can be caught between the months of July and August, between the hours of 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. This bug only spawns on the coconut trees, and you can define it by the really, really, really long horns that it has on the front of its head. This beetle does indeed spawn in the rain. In fact, all these coconut bugs spawn in the rain, and it sells for 8,000 bells. This is one of the more pricey bugs that you can sell in New Horizons in this month, but not the priciest. The next coconut bug that we need to catch is the giraffe stag. This stag is pretty much the same as the cyclometus. The only difference is, is that it sells for 12,000 bells instead of 8,000 bells. This bug spawns between the hours of 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. between the months of July and August. It is very rare. The giraffe stag is pretty much a, a black version of the cyclometer stag. These bugs do spawn in the rain and they only spawn on coconut trees. This next beetle that we need to catch is the golden stag. Now this is probably the rarest of the bugs that I'm presenting to you today. So you're more than likely going to have trouble getting... <laughs> this beetle in particular is probably the rarest stag that you can catch in the game. The golden stag spawns between the hours of 5pm and 8am between the months of July and August and these bugs sell for 12,000 bells. Again, top highest contender for the amount of bells that you can make off one bug. So if you get a lot of these, sell them to Flick, you'll make millions in no time. I think it looks so cool, it's literally a golden bug. It's got nothing on the rainbow stag. It looks so much better. It's so cool, basically. The next beetle that we need to catch is the horned atlas. Now, the horned atlas isn't the greatest of coconut bugs that you can catch. It still sells for quite a lot. It sells for 8,000 bells, but not quite 12,000 bells. And at the end of the day, we want as much money as we can get, don't we? The horned atlas can be caught between the hours of 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. Between the months of July and August, you're probably noticing a, a bit of a pattern here. It's very rare, spawns in the rain, and it does indeed spawn on the coconut trees. If you didn't pick up on my sarcasm just then, all of these coconut bugs, excluding the blue weevil beetle, spawn in exactly the same conditions. The next beetle that we need to catch is the horned elephant. This beetle is basically a clone of the horned atlas. There is no difference whatsoever apart from texture. The horned atlas is black, the horned elephant is yellow. This bug doesn't look like an elephant in any way whatsoever. It spawns between the mumps. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't really see how it resembles an elephant, if you know, then do let me know down below because I genuinely am interested. The horned elephant can be caught between the months of July and August, between the hours of 5pm and 8am. It sells for 8,000 bells. Da -da 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 -da. You get the idea. It's all the same info, except they look like two different bugs. That's pretty much it. The final bug that we need to catch is probably one of my favourites. This is the Horned Hercules. 
This bug looks so cool. It's got like a like an orange abdomen and then a really long horn. I think it's class. The Horned Hercules can be caught between the hours of 5pm and 8am between the months of July and August. This bug sells for 12,000 bells, one of the more pricey bugs that you can sell. It is very rare and it spawns on the coconut trees in the rain. Sorry, that was a bit misleading. It does spawn on the coconut trees and it also does spawn in the rain. Is that better? Yeah. Just a disclaimer though, all these beetles do scare very easily. So when you're creeping up on them, make sure that you're very slow because they do tend to scare very easily. We are now moving on to the tree bugs. So just to clarify, these are bugs that only spawn on hardwood trees and cedar trees. However, some of these bugs, mainly the horned or nested and the stags, can also spawn on the coconut trees. And we're kicking off this category with the brown cicada. The brown cicada can be caught between the months of July and August, between the hours of 8am and 5pm. This brown little critter is common and it sells for 200 bells. It does spawn in the rain and they're fairly easy to catch. They do scare because they're bugs that spawn on trees. You'll hear them because they do make a lot of noise. And apart from that, that's pretty much it for the brown cicada. The next bug in this category that we need to catch is the cicada shell. Now, yes, I know it's not a bug, it's more of a, it's a shedded skin, but it's classed as a bug, so it's on this list. The cicada shell can be found between the months of July and August, and they appear all day, which makes sense, in fact. When I first saw this shell, I thought that it was like a stag or something. They do look pretty weird, but I guess it's like the remains of like what was a cicada, so of course it's going to be weird. They only sell for 100 bells, they are rare, and they do spawn in the rain. I think they should sell for more than 100 bells if they're rare or be integrated into like a crafting recipe or something. If it's a shell, it's not a, a living bug, so there wouldn't be any sort of immoral mindset to having it in a crafting recipe. So that would be some sort of compensation for it only selling for 100 bells, maybe. Let me know down below whether you think that would be a good idea. The next bug on this list that we need to get is the Evening Cicada. This bug is pretty cool. All of the cicadas you'll find do have their own little chirp or noise that they make. I guess it's like a, a mating call. I don't know. Anyway, the Evening Cicada can be caught between the hours of 4am and 8am and between the hours of 4pm until 7pm. The Evening Cicada sells for 550 bells. It's common and they do spawn in the rain. There should be no issue with you catching the Evening Cicada. I just don't think they should spawn in the morning though. That seems a bit ludicrous to me. The next bug on this list is the Giant Cicada. The Giant Cicada can be caught between the hours of 8am and 5pm between the months of July and August. Once again, all of these bugs that are forthcoming all spawn between the months of July and August. <laughs> the giant cicada spawns on the trees, obviously, and they are common. It sells for 500 bells. It does spawn in the rain, and you can tell which one is a giant cicada because they're massive compared to all the others. Apart from that, that is it for the giant cicada. The next bug that we need to catch is the giant stag. Now I just want to say this bug does also spawn on the coconut trees. So any trees that you find a giant stag has a chance of spawning on them. The giant stag spawns between the months of July and August between the hours of 11pm and 8am. That's right, you've got to stay up late to get this bug. I mean you can either stay up late or you can time travel like I did. The giant stag is indeed rare and it sells for 10,000 bells. Once again, one of the more pricey bugs that you're going to be wanting to look for in order to make a lot of bells. It does spawn in the rain and it is massive basically. I think it is such a cool bug. Like the giant cicada, you can tell which bug is a giant stag because it is massive. The next bug that we need to catch is the horned dynastid or dynastid, however you say it. Apparently, it's not even a word on my laptop. Apparently, it's dynastic. Anyway, the horned dynastid can be caught between the months of July and August. Between the hours of 5pm and 8am. This bug is pretty common and it spawns on any of the trees. Cedar, hardwood and coconut trees. This bug sells for 1,350 bells. A pretty good price considering how, how common they are. They do spawn in the rain and I personally think they're pretty damn annoying because of how common they are. That is it for the horned dynastic. 
The next bug that we gotta catch is the Miami stag. This beetle can be caught between the months of July and August like all the other bugs on this list. And it is available all day. Birmingham. <laughs> These bugs are common, they spawn in the rain and they sell for 1000 bells. These little critters do tend to blend in with the trees a little bit so make sure that you're extra vigilant when trying to find one. So yeah, that is it for the Mana Stag. The next bug on this list is the Saw Stag Beetle. This bug spawns between the months of July and August and it spawns all day. It sells for 2000 bells, so pretty much a, an upgraded version of the Miami Stag. It spawns on all of the trees, it's common and it does spawn in the rain. The next bug on this list is the Robust Cicada. I can't say that very well because of my lists. This bug can be caught between the months of July and August and it spawns between the hours of 8am and 5pm. This bug is common and it sells for 200 bells. This bug spawns between the months of July and August between the hours of 8am and 5pm. It is common and it does spawn in the rain. That's pretty much it. The final bug that we need to catch on the trees is the scarab beetle. This bug is like a, a chrome sort of colour. It looks so cool. It's basically a, a shiny beetle. The scarab beetle spawns between the hours of 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. It's very rare and it does indeed spawn in the rain. This beetle sells for 6,000 bells, which I don't think is enough, to be honest. When I found it, I didn't know what it was. It just didn't look like what I expected it to be. With the level of detail in New Horizons, this bug looked so cool. I honestly thought it was a rainbow stag when I first saw it on the tree, and I'm just happy that I caught it instead of scaring it away. The final bug in July that we need to catch is the walking stick. This bug can be caught between the hours of 4am and 8am, and 5pm and 7pm. This bug does have a, an unusual spawn pattern, but that's okay. This bug sells for 600 bells. It can be caught between the months of July and November. These bugs are uncommon, but I think they're quite rare. They're also pretty hard to identify as well. So you've got to keep a vigilant eye when you're looking for them because they do blend into the trees. We are now on to all the bugs that spawn on the ground in July. And we're kicking off this category with the Earth Boring Dung Beetle. This beetle spawns between the months of July and September and it is available all day. This bug is a purple little critter that crawls around on the floor. It only sells for 300 bells. These are indeed common and they do spawn in the rain. That's pretty much it. They're always walking around. They're really annoying. So yeah, have fun with them. The next bug in this category that we need to catch is the Grasshopper. This is the only bug that doesn't spawn in the rain. So if it's raining, you ain't gonna get one, sorry. The grasshopper spawns between the months of July and September, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. These bugs are common and they will get on your nerves. They sell for 160 bells. I think the jumping animation for the grasshoppers has been greatly improved. And I think it really does mirror the real life motion of how a grasshopper normally jumps. You'll catch one of these, no issue whatsoever. The next bug that we need to catch is the walking leaf. This is one of my favorite bugs in the game. I love the concept of this bug. If you're unaware, the walking leaf appears as a dropped item on the floor. It appears as the little green leaf that you get. As you go closer to it, it starts to shake a little bit. It starts to, starts to move until it basically jumps out and starts to run away from you. This bug can be caught all day. It spawns between the months of July and September. It is uncommon and they do spawn in the rain. It sells for 600 bells. You should have no issue catching them whatsoever. And I know for a fact they're gonna fall you. This does indeed conclude all the bugs that you need to catch in the month of July. I'm sorry that this has been a lengthy video, but this month does bring an incredible amount of bugs to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please let me know down below what your favorite bug of this month is. For me, the Cyclometer Stag. I've always loved this bug since I was young. If this video has helped you in any way whatsoever, then please do consider liking and subscribing and also follow me up on social media as well. The links are up there, I think. <laughs> Shit, there they are. So thank you so much for watching Someone and I'll see you guys. Oh no. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.